Every year, brands try to position their products as great gift ideas to encourage sales during the holiday season. So today, I'm going to show you how to do that using a stocking. Now this is a concept that I have used time and time again for my clients, mostly because a lot of the products that I work with are small enough to make fantastic stocking stuffers. So the brands always love this. It's a super playful way to give them some holiday imagery and it works fantastic for social media and websites. So just a real quick overview of our scene here. We're going to be featuring these colorful pink and purple chocolate bars. So I have selected a purple backdrop to complement that. And then we have some props as well. I've got some purple ornaments here along with the ribbon. I may include some silver ones just to add a little more color to it. We've got these miniature pink gift boxes, some sparkly snowflakes. I think these will complement our stocking really well. We're going to put a little bit of filler into our stocking. So that's what these are going to be used for as well as the candy canes. And then I just have these crushed um, silver and gold pieces. Really great way to add texture to your images. The very first thing that I want to do here is position the stocking. And one thing to keep in mind here, we don't wanna have this right in the center because we wanna make sure that the product is going to remain the main focus of the image. By putting this gigantic stocking in the center, it's really going to take away from the product that we're trying to feature. So I'm really just going to have this kind of peeking in from the bottom, I'm gonna turn it at a bit of an angle just to create some interest. And then we'll just play around with these little pom-poms until everything looks nice. I think that looks good. So then let's start by adding our product. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some sticky tack to help prop these up. Because this stocking is so thick at the top, as soon as I put these in, they're gonna kinda just fall backwards and I want them to be propped up so that you can clearly see these little labels here. So I'm gonna grab some for each of those. Now, normally I would make certain that the brand name can clearly be seen when it's coming out of the stocking. This is probably not the best example for a stocking image because the brand name is right at the bottom. So I'm gonna focus on just making sure that you can see these words that they have on the labels here, just for educational purposes. Okay, so now that the product has been positioned, the next thing that I wanna do is just add some filler to this stocking. It's gonna give it some texture, just bring a little more interest in and make it not look like there's just nothing in here except for the chocolate bars. All right, I'm actually finding that it looks best with both of these coming out of the center and kind of fanning out to the sides. So I've placed those and now I'm going to position our product on top and see how that looks. Yes, that's looking much better. And you can make it look a little bit more dynamic as well just by having one bar maybe coming out a little bit further than the other one. That might be a little too much. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now that our product is positioned, I'm just gonna add a couple more things into the stocking here, some candy canes for a little more interest. Maybe we'll hook this one on the outside. Yeah, I like how that looks. And I think we'll just do three of them. Maybe we'll try putting one upside down. See how that looks. Mmm, don't love that. What if we put one on the other side? That actually looks pretty good. Next, we're going to style the surrounding area around the stocking. So the first thing that I wanna do for an image like this, if I'm using ribbon, is I want to place my ribbon first so that I can then go through and add the smaller props like the ornaments and the snowflakes to kind of complement and contour the ribbon. If I put all of these things into place first and then try to wrap the ribbon through, that's just gonna make our job more difficult than it needs to be. So we're just gonna unroll a bunch of this and then all I do, and this adds so much texture and interest to your images, 
just twist the ribbon and the lighting is going to catch some really nice highlights across the surface of the ribbon. And you can make it as tall or as flat as you want. And then I just use some sticky tack to place it once I'm happy with how it looks. And you can also make these coils as large or as small as you like. I think I want to make them a little bit smaller, so I'm going to twirl it a little more. There we go. That looks good. Okay, we're gonna start with that and see how it looks as I build the scene around it. And if we don't like it, we could always go back through and place the ribbon in a different spot. But I think I like this diagonal look so far. Now we can go ahead and start placing our smaller elements. So I'm first going to place anything that I want to kind of just contour and complement the ribbon. I'll start with these purple ornaments. That looks pretty good. We'll save this third one. Maybe we'll put this one kind of coming out of the stocking. Yes, that looks nice, because now it kind of leads, now the ornaments are kind of leading the eye toward the product, which is exactly what we want. And then I think just as an accent, we'll have some of these sparkly silver ones, maybe just coming in from the sides. Maybe do one there and one up top here. And you can also use sticky tack to hold the ornaments in place if they're giving you any trouble. And now we'll just add some snowflakes. I'm gonna place one next to this ornament. Let's see how that looks. Mm, I think I just want it peeking in from the side. A little bit more. And then we'll do the same with this one just to create a little bit of symmetry. Just not so much of it showing. These are just little accents that we're adding. We wanna make sure that we're not distracting from the product. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we need a third though. I'm gonna come in from this edge. Yeah, that's looking really nice. And then next, I'm just going to kind of play around and see if I even want to include the gift boxes. They might be too distracting, but while I have them here, we might as well try. I actually really like that. I'm just going to, this one's a little crooked. I'm just gonna prop it up. It's coming in from the edge, so we don't need to tuck that sticky tack under too much. Yeah, that looks nice. And then let's do this one. Maybe we do a full present here and then see what this one looks like tucked in, kind of coming from the edge. We lost a bit of our ornament there. That looks better. Okay. Um, I think I just like the presence at the edges. I don't want to show the whole thing right in the center. It kind of distracts, so. Maybe if I put this one next to our snowflake. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think I'm even gonna put it a little bit overlapping the snowflake. Awesome. I don't like how this gift is lining up straight with this one, so I'm just going to scoot this up closer to the ribbon a little bit. Bring it in closer. That's looking a lot better. Prop that one up with some sticky tack as well. That was a little too much. Okay. 
There we go. It's coming together nicely now. Okay, so the next thing is our little jingle bells. And like I said earlier, since these are red, I'm going to take these into Lightroom and just slide the hue slider on the color red towards the pink. And then I should be able to get it to match up to the pink packaging pretty well. So when I'm doing, when I'm placing props like this, the first thing that I like to do is just start by placing them near other props that I have in the scene to kind of create a bit of a grouping. That way I'm not just randomly placing them and hoping it looks good. I at least have some structure and then if you want to, you can go back through and add some as accents once you've done this. I find that that just helps it look a little more organized and professional. We wanna make sure that these don't look random but that everything we put in the scene looks intentional. Okay, yeah, I think that's looking really great. So now, just to add a bit of texture, I'm going to take these crushed flecks of sparkle stuff <laughs> and we're just going to kind of do the same thing. I don't want to be too random about it. I'm going to start by kind of sprinkling them near the other props in the scene and then if we want to later we can add a little more. Looking good. get some near this gift box as well. And now that I have done that, I think what I'm gonna do is just come in and sprinkle a little bit along the edges of the frame. I think that looks really nice. Helps kind of tie everything together. Go up here in the corner. And then maybe some just along this edge of the ribbon looks a little lonely. So now that we have everything the way that we want it, I think I'm okay with making this image even a bit more busy. Sometimes I like that look. So I'm just gonna go through now and add in some additional props just kind of along the edges of the gold and silver flex and just see how we can add even more interest to this. Cause sometimes a busy image is fun to look at. Again, we just wanna make sure that it's very intentional and not chaos. our final edit. I love how this image turned out, even though it's a little busy. I think it's okay to get a little bit crazy and whimsical with these holiday inspired images, especially if you have some fun branding like this to work with. If you are going to go this route where you have a lot of props interacting with your scene, I would just recommend that you stick to something like this where we use really small props so that they don't distract from the main focus of the image, which is the product and the packaging. But of course, you can definitely customize something like this to your own preferences and use either more or less props. Just do whatever feels right for you and the branding. If this was helpful and you're looking for some more styling concepts, I've linked another video for you below where I show you three different styling concepts that you can use for your holiday images. But I will continue to provide seasonal content like this as we approach new holidays or different seasons just to keep you fresh with some new ideas that you can continue to turn to whenever you have a new client project. Leave me a comment below if this was helpful and don't forget to subscribe before you head out and I will see you in the next video.